Hello everybody, hello Lucy, by the way, it's a German, German video about uh, Lederhosen, uh, it's some of the German pronunciation, Lederhosen, it's uh, leather breeches, singular in German usage, Lederhosen, are short, today we're gonna learn about it, it's some of the Wikipedia learning with uh, me and uh, we will learn English with it to improve our knowledges, improve our connections, our syntaxes and also our semantics things, let's do this, are short or knee length, how to pronounce it, knee length, knee length, knee length, leather breeches, Breeches is are an article of clothing covering the body from the waist down. Wow. That are worn as traditional garments. Garments, a full custom. Okay. In German speaking countries, the longer ones are generally called Bundhosen or Niebundhosen. On once common uh, work wear across Central Europe, this cloth or tracht, what is tracht, refers to so traditional garments in German speaking countries. R refers to traditional garments. Garments is uh, ah, folk, folk, uh, folk wearing are particularly associated with Bavaria and the Tyrol region. Tyrol, how to say it correct? Tyrol region. Tyrol region. Okay, what did I learn? Is type of the leather breeches. Leather breeches uh, with knee length. Okay. A tradition Bavarian men's clothing. Formerly, leather hosen were f worn for hard physical work. They were more durable than a fabric garment. Today, they are mostly worn as laser wear. Laser wear. Today, leather hosen and uh, deer Dirndl at Dirndl is the name of a traditional feminine dress worn in Austria, Germany, and Switzerland. Attire is common at Oktoberfest events around the world. Lederhosen were once widespread uh, among men of the Alpine, Alpine, and surrounding regions, including Bavaria, Austria, and the Alge. Is region of Swabia, is southern Germany, Switzerland, and the autonomous Italian region of Trentino Alto. What is Trentino? Adige Sud, Sud Tyrol, formerly part of Austria Hungary, but they were not usually worn in southwestern Germany or Switzerland. Okay, nice. La culture, la culture passione. However, claims that Lederhosen were originally not exclusively a Bavarian garment, but were worn all over Europe, especially by riders, hunters and other people involved in outdoor activities. The flap drop front may have been a unique Bavarian invention. Drop front? What is... Uh, is uh, flap? What is, is some of the small... Small thing near. Please tell me what is. Wow, looks interesting. Yo, was fallen drinking. The, the, the invention, the drop front style became so popular in today. It was known in France as a la bavarouse in the Bavarian style. The popularity of Lederhosen in Bavaria dropped surely in the 19th century. They began to be considered as uh, uncultured peasants, peasants, clothing that was not fitting for modern city dwellers. However, in the 1990s, a regular resurgence set in, and several clubs were founded in Munich and other large cities devoted to preserve preserving traditional rural clothing style. The conception of Lederhosen as a quintessentially Bavarian garment that is, that is worn at festive occasions. Rather, rather or rather? Rather, I think. Rather. Rather, okay. 
rather than at work dates largely from this time. Well, wow. interesting. I remember how some German people were in my school need to create video about it. Okay, Lederhosen have remained originally popular and a popular associated with virility refers to any or wide range of masculine characteristics white positively <laughs> and brown. Some men wear them when gardening, hiking, working outdoors or attending folk festivals or beer gardens. It's an outdoor area in which beer and local food are served to get shared tables. Wow. They are a symbol of religion, pride in Bavaria. Bavaria or Bavaria? How to say it correct? Bavaria. Bavaria. And the other areas where they are worn but are rarely seen elsewhere. The role of Lederhosen in Bavaria is thus comparable to that of the kilt in Scotland and the cowboy hat in the United States. Kilt in Scotland, cowboy hat. Yes, cowboy hat. Let's use it. Traditional Lederhosen are handmade of tanned deer leather, which makes the pants soft, pants soft and light but very tear proof. As those leather pants are very valuable and can last a lifetime, some Bavarians even bequeath their Lederhosen to the next generation. Some variations of modern Lederhosen are made of heavier, lower quality leather or imitations like velour f leather which makes them much cheaper but less durable. All variations are usually equipped with two side pockets, one hip pocket, one knife pocket and a cold piece drop front. Cold piece what is? Cold piece. I don't know. A pouch especially a constitution decorative one attached to a man it breaches a, a flap for cross man's fitting breeches. Okay, for an Oktoberfest costume, people combine Lederhosen with Haver Schoen. Haver Schoen is traditional Bavarian shoe. Okay, stocking and a classic white or checked short. Wow, what did I learn? That is so traditional wearing, wearing style clothes, and uh, many of Bavarian people use it on beer festivals or beer gardens, folk festivals for dancing, for hiking, working outdoors, gardening and other things. Also, riders can use it, hunters and other people involved, it, involved in outdoor activities. Okay, and uh, also you can some of the foods called Havelschuhen. German boys used to wear Lederhosen up to the age of about 16 years. These Lederhosen were not decorated with amber or dairy, but had the typical attributes of super suspenders braces and drop front flap. Even today some German and French scouts wear various forms of Lederhosen, although in most cases they are not part of their official uniform. Lederhosen were also worn by Austrian boys from the 1930s to the 1970s. Today they are worn on special occasions such as a beer garden, beer garden or Zeltef, Zeltfest. Girls wear dirndl, which is part of Austrian tracht. Wow, really interesting to learn more new information lederhosen lederhosen we we learned today what is it lederhosen is wearing costume of traditions traditional costume of uh, german and uh, german speaking countries and uh, like uh, Austria, bavaria alpine or how to say it uh, alpine Alpine. Alpine things and Oktoberfest and other be beer fest what you can visit. Yes. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Let us in your life. Be cool. Enjoy your life. See you in the next time. Bye bye.